The Finney and Son Building, located on 12th and Spring Garden, has been in Philadelphia since the 1800s. The Finney and Son Building is now renamed the Phila Mocha, or the Philadelphia Mausoleum of Contemporary Art, and is run by curator Eric Bressler and a team of volunteers, interns, and local children. I've been here at Philomoca since 2012 as the director slash curator. Uh, basically, I oversee all aspects of the uh, event space, from uh, you know art curation to uh, entertainment booking to mopping the floors. Uh, I cover it all. The building lay vacant until the 1980s when it was bought by an uh, by a local artist who used it as his studio and teaching facility until recording artist and producer Diplo bought the building in the early 2000s and used it as a space to record music. Today, the building is used as a DIY venue for artists, musicians, and filmmakers to showcase their work at a low budget and have intimate shows. I knew it as a party space, you know, back in 2006, 7, 8, when Diplo was throwing these big dance parties here, which um, I never came though because the that EDM world is, you know, a world away from what interests me. Uh, but I certainly had friends that used to come here, and uh, you know, and I heard reports about the big block parties out front and everything. So I was, I think, most of us in the music scene in the city were aware of the space. Um, and then yeah, I saw the transition into Philomoca, and I really liked the name. And I came for a couple shows, and uh, eventually, just a mutual friend of uh, of ours introduced me to the guy who founded Philomoca who was planning to move to New York and then we you know we met and talked and then I, I pretty much just took over right there so it's been you know four years now. We just had this really strange 80s metal dude here a few weeks ago his name was uh, Thor he's been in a bunch of like weird horror movies and uh, there was a documentary about him that I had found was coming out and playing festivals so we booked it here for our film festival this past year and then we did a second screening with him here, um, doing a live performance with his band, which probably was one of my favorite events that we've ever done. Um, but we've had a lot of other cool stuff here. Lydia Lunch um, from like the 80s No Wave band, uh, Teenage Jesus, um, and a bunch of other really crazy stuff uh, has gone on here. For Group 3, AV News Gathering, Temple University.